Titus 2.13. Looking for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now that became my life verse when late 1990s, a lung doctor said I was going to die of emphysema. And been looking for the blessed hope ever since. Now, the doctor told me in late 1990, I, I had six months to live. He told my wife and I, and it's been many years. And that doctor is not in practice any, anymore. No, actually, no, that's not correct. That was another lung doctor I'm thinking about. Well, anyway, the blessed hope. Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, he's coming. I'm waiting. You find the apostles writing about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Revelation 22, verse 20, He which testify these things saith, Surely I come quickly. That's Jesus speaking. Amen, is the response. Even so, come Lord Jesus. So, there is that want and that desire <coughs> by Paul, by the Apostle John. I want the Lord Jesus Christ to come. I want to see him. It's a promise. Now, it's a promise that many have died. But that doesn't end the blessed hope. Because you die in the Lord when the rapture happens. The Bible actually says those who died in Christ will go first. You get the benefit. First application to the rapture if you die in the Lord. Saved. And then there's a period of time that, that those who are alive and remain shall be caught up together. And there is no pathetic time period. That could happen any moment. That could happen while we're doing a video right now. It could happen five years from now. We don't know. And it's, it's the greatest hope for a, a Christian that is saved. And yet, I fear <coughs> in the last of seeing church age and probably other church ages, where the blessed hope and the glorious period of our great God and Savior was not wanted. And I've heard that there have been songs about her, you know, wait a little longer, Jesus. And me, myself, you know, my prayers go out as a widower to meet another woman and become married again. But... If Jesus is going to come before I meet somebody and I get married, glory to God, come. If you think that your graduation is more important than the coming of Jesus Christ, you have erred. Oh, I'm, I'm going to make CEO of the company. I'm going to make management of my company. You got your priorities wrong. I want to settle down, get married, and have children before Jesus comes. Okay, these are good, outstanding goals. And we ought to have those goals. But we ought not to have these goals where it does not give us the assurance and the looking for Jesus. There is nothing that I have or could be planned that, hey, Jesus, come today, right now, please. And that the expectation at the end of the day, if Jesus Christ has not come, he will come. And he is coming. And he is faithful. And that there ought to be no plans and no activities in my life or your life that would hinder and reflect, oh, Jesus, please wait. Because fill in the blank. 
In Philippians chapter 1, verse uh, 22, no, 23, I am a straight betwixt two, having desired to part and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. <coughs> Paul says, I am here right now because you need me to help you. I am here today because the Lord is still able to use me. I am here today because God can use me. I'm not dead. Oh, excuse my eyes. I'm not dead because God can put something in my life for application for him and for others. But Paul said, hey, if I had the choice, I'd rather be in heaven. I'd rather be in glory. Because the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord at death. Now, people say, you know, I, I've gone through a period of time with widowhood and all that. And it's just, you know what? Why? Why any longer? Except for the fact is that God needs me. And it's why I'm still living. I don't mean, you know, God's whole entire life developed because I'm still living. I, I woke up this morning for the purpose that God can use me. And yet, if God is all finished with me, well, not wake up and be present with the Lord. Be great. And whatever plans and whatever activities I have set forth in my life, if the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ or the rapture happens to come and effect and cancel my dreams and my plans and my activities, amen. There's actually a crown for those who are looking forward to his appearing. I would hate to, to lose that crown because I wanted to go to a rat land. I wanted to go on a cruise. Lose a crown because I wanted to, you know, get to financial stability. Man, the greatest financial stability is the Lord calling us home. There is nothing better than the Lord's return or to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And yet there's nothing better to wake up a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it that God can use me today. So we don't look for the end of the world, so to speak. And when we wake up, oh, woe is me. We look, hey, God, what can I do to please you today? How can I please you today? And at the end of the day, when we're ready to go to bed, Lord God, did I please you today? And I confess where I did not, where I did not, did not absolutely please you today. I am sorry, Lord, and I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. And yet throughout the day, whatever needs to be done, whatever has to be put forward, for tomorrow, Lord, I still looked forward to you to come. I still had that anxiety of you coming at any moment. Whatever, whatever my plans are, you are coming. Come, even so, come Lord Jesus. And oh well with what plans I made. And if you are to tarry, well, continue with my plans. If they're right and holy and approved of you and then live, we're not to go out and try to commit suicide. But yet, we're to go and try to please the Lord. And pleasing the Lord is set goals in your life. But the goal of all goals is the blessed hope, the coming of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Let that not ruin your day. Oh, Jesus, you came, we're in the clouds, and there he is. I, I, got, I had something better to do. Man, Lord Jesus, why couldn't you wait? Or the fact, all right, Jesus, God, he's done with us. 
we die in the Lord, we are absent from the body, and we are present with the Lord. And, oh, come on, Jesus, really? Tomorrow, you don't believe what I had planned for tomorrow, and now I am with you for all eternity. Really? Come on, Jesus. You really had to, I'm, I'm, I'm dead, and all the plans I had, all the to-do things I had for tomorrow, and I'm dead, I'm in glory now. Oh, Lord, the, 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 the outreach that I had, and, and the further advancement of my calendar, and you had to come for us, your saints. Really? And that is all the wrong aspect. And I believe that there will be Christians at the rapture, Christians at death, and they're going to be disappointed. That Jesus interrupted their calendar. And that's sorry. And again, Paul says, hey, listen, I... I I'm in straight. I want to be depart and be with Christ, which is far better. But if I'm living right now, God has need for me for you. Amen. Right now, if I'm living, God can use me. Amen. But given the opportunity, I'd rather be with the Lord. Back to Titus. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, there is nothing wrong with setting goals in your life. But your main goal to top your to-do list is looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. I got to go to the store and get milk, eggs, cheese. But... <coughs> It'd be okay if the Lord Jesus Christ cancels out going to the grocery store. Well, I've got a wedding to go to next week, or I've got a wedding that I'm going to be in next month. And it'd be great and okay if the Lord Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, comes before that wedding. I'm going to get my driver's license. I'm going to learn how to drive. It'd be perfectly well if the Lord Jesus Christ came before you got your driver's license. Revelation. And I, like I said, I, I will assume that maybe, I'm, hopefully I'm wrong, that there will be Christians and that to be absent from the body and present with the Lord will damper their spirits. The rapture will not be pleasing to them. And he that testify these things say, surely I come quickly Lord, I was going to go down to the, to, the, to the carnival. Lord, I was going to go on to the cruise. I was going to go to Mickey Ratland. All the family and I were going to go down to Mickey Ratland and wait four hours in a line for one line to get to one ride. Surely I come quickly. Oh, Lord, I, almost, I came this close to owning that house. Lord, even so, come quickly. I was this close to reading the will, and I almost found out I got it all. Surely I come quickly, and the response to be, amen, even so, come, Lord Jesus, besides what we plan. Again, set goals. Don't live your life without goals. I've got goals in my life. Death, rapture, health, or life itself may hinder those goals. <clears throat> but the Lord says, you know what? Bring him home. He's tired. He's worn out. He's fought the good fight, Paul said. Bring him home. Oh, Lord. Do you know what was on TV this week? Do you know that that four-part series? I, 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 sure, I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. All right, son. It's time. Have the angel blow the trumpet. Get your bride.
Jeez, it's the holiday. I, 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 I got me ham. I got me yams. I, I got, I got my, my, my family's coming. I made all the phone calls. I got them in this hotel. It took a lot of work, Jesus. Come on, you're coming. You know how many presents I got for the tree? And you came? Before your birthday? Don't be upset at the rapture. Don't be upset if God says, okay, you're done. I'm finished with you. Come home. Amen, Paul said. Paul said, hey, if I can be used by God, amen, be you. But hey, if, if I have the opportunity, listen, if God were to come to me, you know, the, the genie, you know, you rub the lamp, and I, I know that's not God, but as an illustration, if I, and the genie, all right, you got three wishes. I don't need three. Now, what people say, well, number one, you know, he wishes you find a woman and get married. No, 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 no. Number one wish, rapture, let's go. That would be my wish. Well, you can't have the rapture right now because that's not in the plan. All right, number two, can I be absent from the body and present with the Lord right now? You mean you would rather, I, I, as Paul said it, don't you mark me wrong when even Paul said, hey, I'm, a, I'm, I'm between two things here, to be with the Lord and to be helped. Well, you know, Stanley, I've got ministries for you. i got work for you. That would not be in the interest of God the Father for you to come home. Okay. Wish number two blown. <laughs> number three. And then I said, okay, find me a woman that can get married and we can have a ministry together. We are to set our goal, and we'll go back to Titus and we'll get me done. Titus, let's read it like this. Looking for the blessed hope. Even so, even so, I come, even so, come, Lord, uh, behold, I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Looking. Set goals, because we don't know when our death is. We don't know when the Lord's coming. We may die before He comes. We may die before our plans, but set plans, set goals. But don't let Jesus Christ coming hinder and upset your plans. I'm trying to say, and I may say it in a bad way, and I apologize. Don't let the rapture, or even the Lord saying, you're done, come home. Don't let that be... Oh, come on, God, really? I had so many other better things than to be with you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep looking for the blessed hope. Keep looking at, hey, the day I see Jesus, death or rapture. And if I have one more day and I live today, may I live. For Jesus Christ. And that the fact is, okay, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do that today, and maybe tomorrow. But there will be a crown with your to do list. And when you check off something on your to do list, but everything on the top of that to, to do list, whether it be today, tomorrow, next week, or next month, the number one priority after fulfilling a, a, a event on the to-do list is Jesus is coming, glory to God. And if he comes right now, everything else, oh well, I'm looking for the blessed hope. And there's a crown for that. There is not a crown to be, oh, come on, Jesus, man, you know what you did? You messed up my whole plans. I had something more important than you coming and seeing you. And that is a terrible aspect. That's a terrible outreach. And I, I fear that there'll be some Christians 
disappointed when the Lord finally comes. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And again, I'm not saying don't set any goals, but don't let your goals be greater than the greatest event that is yet to happen. The next great event that will happen for the church is the glorious period of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And between now and the rapture, because the rapture will be people are alive or dead, all right? Paul said, if the, it may not be the, the next great event in your life, maybe the rapture, your may, maybe next great life event to happen is the Lord calls you home. And to be absent from the body, death, you are now present with the Lord. No more bills. No more pain. No more agony. No sorrow. No... Three aspects. I went a little bit long today. I apologize. You're living right now. Live for the Lord. Set goals. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Death may happen if you've been a fulfilled, successful, serving God, pleasing God, and he's, I'm done with you, time to come home, glory to God. And then there's that one great event, the rapture. And I feel I've done terrible, and I apologize, I don't think I've done this, maybe I did, maybe I, I don't feel I've done this well. Let the coming and the meeting of the Lord Jesus Christ be pleasing. Let it be pleasing. And not let the coming and the rapture of the church be a disappointment. Set the to-do list, set the goals in your life, but make the main priority looking for the blessed hope. There's a crown to be won.